because both of you today, I think you agree with me, have said, you know, prostitution, it's outrageous, murder, rape, etc. And actually, surely, fundamentally, Islam does not oppress women, Christianity doesn't, and ultimately it's just people. It's people hurt other people. Surely, there's people made people, and people made the law, and people made the power. Surely, if the question is, is the main oppression the people we put in power, whether that be Britain, India, Egypt, Pakistan, USA, it surely isn't the power structure we have in place. And as young leaders, is it not up to us to change that? Perhaps you'd like to say which people. People are very fond of saying, oh, people do this and people do that. But there's a whole range of opinion as to what people think and do. And individuals don't exist and behave outside of their own society. They behave as they can behave, as they are allowed to behave, or as they are not allowed to behave. You can't divorce the individual from the political and the society. Very, very quickly. Very quickly. What I would say is that first, you play people, you play people, there's people that actually what it is and change, makes change is community. Whether that be, you know, Islam, Christianity, and actually the part of religion, the point of what, why I would join a religion, not being religious, is to be part of something bigger than myself. That's why we join religious groups, that's why we have friendship groups, that's why we join sports teams in society. You shouldn't need to do that. The, the reason you shouldn't need to do that. It's human nature to be connected to people. No. No. Just to know your point, I agree with you that it's individuals who do the actions, but it's ideas that people carry that make them do those things. So what we need to look at is what kind of ideas minimize these kind of problems and what kind of ideas exacerbate these problems. Exactly. Coming to one example, like Sue mentioned, the issue of prostitution. We know on pornography, it's very clear the negative impact that these industries cause upon society and upon the ideas of men. Many reports have said this. Even the British justice system has done studies that shows that watching pornography increases the likelihood of sexual harassment or sexually based violence of men, yeah, men committing these acts. Now, knowing that, why does the British government continue to allow pornography and prostitution to exist within the societies? Because capitalism as a system will always put profit over women's dignity, no matter what. So therefore, this is what we need to address, the values which can actually lead to a better society. Well, not just women, but also for men well, and children. Thank you for that, because just today you reopened my eyes as well. You made me see the person from my eyes as well. Okay, time for the next question. And, uh... Sorry, guys, come on, keep it down, please. Can I just ask a question? Um, I'd just like to make a quick one from one of the questions. Start the question yeah. again. Right here, start again. No, no, he, he didn't actually say anything. Just... <laughs> First of all, um, this country, as most of the rest, is secular. The Christ, uh, Christian's role in lawmaking has gone hundreds of years ago, so I don't know how you could argue that Christianity has any role in today's society. Now, my question um, is that in this society, women are purely seen as objects, okay? Now, if there were anything more than objects, you wouldn't have hundreds and hundreds of magazines photographing when a celebrity has a spot or a sweat. <laughs> they, the, the society stopped over that. It's like, oh, you know what? She has a spot, oh my god, oh my god, you know? Um, and also, you know, even these powerful, you know, not powerful, but these women in high places, you know, pop stars, movie stars, you know, they can never wear the same thing twice, like Lady Gaga, you know? She wears the same thing twice, yeah? She's like, oh my god, she wore the same thing twice, yeah? That's why she's going to take you yeah? So can we let him uh, finish? That's why finish up. To the next video, I'll put her on the meat, yeah, to make a statement, you know. So in this society, women are purely seen as objects, nothing more and nothing less. Whereas in a Islamic society, there's something more. Um, there's a saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Um, now I've forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> The greatest thing of value in this world is a pious woman, okay? 
Now, that shows the emphasis of society that they have morals and piety. Something more than a material possession. Something more than, oh my gosh, you have a spec patch or a spot. You know, or, you know. Yeah, so okay. You <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we get the point. Thank you. Um, so, which of the speakers? Sue, do you want to? Yeah?